What's poppin' everybody? Today we're here with Kenneth Toppin from Harvest. Cool? Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have an awesome conversation in regards to tech meeting old school door knocking. So what does that start to look like in regards to a technology platform that can hold the realtor accountable, track your data, show your stats, and allow you to really crush it when it comes to door knocking and uh, be the best, like this gentleman sitting in front of us right here. So we're going to get right into it. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming on today. Let's do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> So talk to me a little bit about how real estate, how real estate meets tech and how you're the gentleman in the middle facilitating <laughs> it, how you're going to streamline people's businesses, how you're going to make it more efficient and how you're just going to make it scream. This is the smart way. I yeah. I mean, there's, there's so much avenues when it comes down to tech and real estate and, in, and harvest, we're just chopping it off, you know, one piece and one element at a time. And it's interesting is because we're in a new era right now real estate because there's tech and then and you have the old school and then you have the new school and it's, it's interesting is because i'm a door knocker by trade so i built my business book of business off of door knocking okay um i grew up in an area in scarborough and i wasn't in it i wasn't in an area where i was able to really kind of thrive in that real estate capacity kind of at risk community so i kind of stepped out where i had to go and find people where uh, they didn't know me Right? right, I had to go and kind of, kind of, kind of find my own new uh, circle of influence, okay. uh, you call it. And it's interesting is because when I was out there kind of talking to people and knocking, I was writing all this information on a notepad. And because it was like in 2010 times and technology is coming out, uh, Blackberry and internet on a phone is yeah, coming yeah, yeah, out, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. I speak at Rogers back in the day. That's why I used to sell all like these Blackberry internet plans. And people were like, you can email? On a phone, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Data plans, yeah, 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 Look, yeah, yeah. Google mom, right? Yeah, so the yeah. idea is uh, tech was now coming out when I got into real estate. And, and, and for me, it was like, this is archaic. Like I can't just keep tracking, you know, what I'm doing on, on a phone. And yeah. that's when I started to realize that, okay, I need to start looking at the tech. And that's kind of where Harvest comes in, right? Where it's like, I can track things, what I'm doing at the door, track my conversion rates. And instead of doing it the old school, and that's kind of an example of how, you know, we're taking what people used to do, which is you don't forego what was in the past. Right. Uh, you bring it to the future, but you bring data and technology around it just to make your life a lot easier. Right, right. So what are you trying to accomplish with your specific platform? Like, what are you going to do if, if people have gone to it? What is it, what is it going to do for them? What's it going to save them in, in regards to time, in regards to money? How is it going to help the realtor? What would it cost? Yeah, so you know what? It's really about sales performance, right? Okay. It's, it's, it's what is the data that you need to know in order to drive a behavior and drive sales. And it's a big factor that's, that that's missed, right? And what I mean by that is, uh, for example, um, how much doors do you need to knock on in order to get one lead? Right. And then how much leads do you need to get in order to get a booked appointment? Right. And how much booked appointments do you need to get to get a sale? That's a KYN. That's know your numbers. Uh, know your numbers. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Know your numbers. So what I'm trying to accomplish is those behaviors because people tend to see the end result. Right. They'll see how amazing you're doing. And you told me a story earlier of how you used to hustle and grind in another life. Right. Yeah, right. And how you're implementing it now. But people see the end result. But the real result is what were the behaviors and some of the things that you had to do to help you get to where you want to go. So one of the things that Harvest does uh, for even door knockers now is it tracks that for you. So as you're going to each door, it says not interested, not interested, not interested. Oop, lead. Uh, so now you know what your efficiency score is. Right. So my, for example, is, is about 20%. So I can knock anywhere for the most part and get a 20% conversion on a lead. So five, so five doors, you get one lead. Exactly. So if you knock on, on 100 doors, you get 20 leads. Exactly. Now out of those 20 leads, how much convert? There you go, right? So, so now you're asking the right questions. Yeah. Makes sense. I have a new agent on my team and she's at 3%. 3% conversion. On, on getting a lead, 
right? On getting the lead. On getting the lead. So she got 3%. So she would need to talk to 100 people to get three in order to get three. Yeah. Um, my, I, I think my overall average of history is about 15%. Okay. Uh, this year, I'm about 20. But the idea, though, is uh, uh, they're now asking the right questions because now it's like, okay, now I know where I am and now I have to figure out how to get that increased efficiency. But if you're not tracking those numbers, uh, then you would never know. On top of that, a rational mind, uh, one of the problems in entrepreneurship is people quit too early. Mm. We've all seen that example of people mining for a diamond and they're right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. calls yeah, and they yeah, walk yeah. away. Yeah. So I have an agent on my team and she was at um, uh, 6%. I'm like, that's pretty good, right? Because only 5% of people on average sell like, like in any area. So if I pull the stats for where we are, about 5% of people statistically sell every year. So really and truly on average, if you're going around talking to people, it would make sense that around five to 6% of people will give you their information. Make yeah. sense? So, but a rational person would never go out and hear the word no 90 times, 85 times right. and continue to go. Right. We'll just quit. But with the data-driven tech, you actually know these behaviors. So for me, when I hear the word no like 80 times, I'm like, perfect. Now I know on average I'm going to get the next 20. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> so just so it allows scheme. you to yeah. know your total. What do you call it? Know the, your numbers. KYN. Know, KYN. I yeah, like yeah. that term. So I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm 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 borrow that. Yeah. That was, <laughs> and that, you know, shout out Daniel G. I learned it in the uh, the world class sales course that the I KYN. took. KYN. It was a 30 okay. day. Yeah. It's just a know your numbers game. And then what happens with that is you, you detach from the emotional side of it. Exactly. And when you hear the no, 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 or the fuck off, you know what I mean? Get out of here. It's just like, all right. Right? That's chalk it up as one of the 97. If you were that girl who's scoring 3%, right. one of the 97 that I'm supposed to hear that. Yeah. So your app is like, like after they knock on a door, they'll put in a little report and then it'll store that data. And then they'll just be able to continue to do that so that fast forward a year, they'll be able to look and say, okay, that's what happened. So it's essentially, it's just, it's something that holds you accountable and, and spits out numbers. What's well, amazing. It's a, uh from an accountability platform, we have shy over a thousand people across North America now on this. And what's amazing is you've signed up a thousand. Yeah, you have a thousand users. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is well, it pre-revenue uh, right now, or like, are you charging for advertisement? I love this <laughs> going into the model. So you know what's crazy <laughs> is I've been battling with my my partners on this, but it's a, it's free right now. Yeah. yeah. So, so right it's now it's a, yeah, right now it's a pre revenue to free download, yeah. download it and use it. Yeah. And it's an amazing thing that agents can use right now. Absolutely free. It, there could and should actually be a charge on it even right now, but it's absolutely free in its pre-sales. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, good for you. And, and it's it's all about adding that value, yeah. right? And then what you're doing too in your beta stages right now right. is you're taking constructive feedback from all the realtors yeah. and you're understanding what you have to fine tune, buff out, tweak to make it right. better. So it's, it's, it's something that, you know, I guess would be an ongoing conversation and with different dynamics and partners on board, right? Like everyone's position's different. I've been on a few advisory boards and yeah. I've, I've consulted apps and, and tech that have been building out as the expert in the space that they're trying to integrate with, right? Yeah. So you see this internally on their board and with their partners. It's tough, but stick it out, right? Like I, I, I tip my hat to, to any guy, who, any team who puts out a solid tech product and, yeah. and, and sticks through it, right? There was a uh, there was a TV show, and you may recall it, where the CEO, the owner, or the founder, they would go to the front line, and then yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, would act yeah. like they would yeah. act like uh, they were like, like a, a, an employee, an employee. Yeah, and I always saw that, and I was like, that is ten thousand percent the type of founder that I must be and yeah. will be, like for the rest of my life. Like I want to be able to have that yeah. relationship, and it's just so powerful. And um, we have a once a month uh, town hall. Uh, because of that, that's coming up on Thursday at one o'clock, and we're having all the uh, harvesters, we call them, and we're saying, hey, like this is the opportunity to come on, share your feedback, changes, updates, whatever you want, come and just talk to me, right? And I love that platform there. And you mentioned something earlier about accountability, and it's massive. It, it's such a massive thing because even on my team, and one of the first add-ons we actually have from a paid product where people actually are paying actually it's um it's for team leaders okay so if you're an individual agent 
um, right now, absolutely free. But if you're a team leader and you have, say, uh, uh, 10 team members and they're out there kind of knocking and you want to be able to see what everyone is doing, you want to have a leaderboard, mm. right? Or even where we are right now, um, in any community that you're in, if you want your team to go out there and start talking to the entire community, but you don't want one person talk, you don't want 10 people knocking on the same door in the same week, but then you're going to be annoying, right? So now everyone needs to know where everyone is knocking on a map. Yeah. So that like synergy, synergy, that's the first add-on at 99 bucks a month for a team leader, and now they can have everyone synced. Uh, so now we have team leaders using it, and what's amazing about that is they're getting, uh, they have leaderboards for how much doors did you knock, how much conversations did you have, Yeah. what's your conversion rate, and it's powerful because one team member can see, see another team member, and now uh, the month is finished, but well, you've knocked on 600 doors. Well, yeah. you, you've knocked on 100 doors. Yeah. Maybe that's why you're not succeeding in the business, right? So it's an amazing accountability tool because it, it really just lets you know who are the hustlers versus not. And that spread is wide. Even on my own team, it's very wide. So it just literally lets you know that the market is slow or if the market is not fast. Hmm. But there's a reason also is because you're not really putting in the same level of work as other people. So uh, that team leaderboard is amazing as well. Yeah. Right on. So let's get into the exciting stuff. What would it cost to build out this piece of tech, right? And what do you think it's going to continue to cost <laughs> before yeah. you're at the revenue stages, right? Yeah. What, and if you were to charge yourself out per hour, your teammates out per hour, your board of directors out per hour, your advisory board, however you're structured in the background, if you right. were to charge out for everyone's time along with development costs when it comes to the tech side and graphic designs wow. and assets and videos, whatever you guys are doing for the whole movement altogether, if you had to put a price tag to it, right. not only up until this point, but up until you get it to its revenue stages, what would you what would it, what would that cost for you to bring it to market? Well, that's a, a full blown a full blown question, man. Yeah, <laughs> give it to me. And and it's crazy because right now it is on market, right? So it's actually on the App Store for Android and Apple, available in Canada and the U.S. So right now it's a vi it's, it's a product. People are using it. There's a support. Uh, there's a support team where people can message in, and they have a real person. Yeah, by yeah. the way, <laughs> it was yeah. just one of my. I also so next thing I also said is I I. I, I, my pet peeve is when you can't talk to a person if you have a company, right? Why can't okay. you just chat? So there's a, there's a live chat box even now uh, for services. And it's interesting is because what would it cost to, you know, take it to full blow market, all the ideas that we have lined up, meaning like, and there's so much, I can't give away everything we have that's going to be coming down the pipeline. Sure. But we have so much different things predominantly because it's not only for door knocking. It's also, if you're networking, there's also other pillars of lead generation in real estate. So it's one of those things where we're not sure exactly which ones we're going to be tackling off yeah. next, but we do know that we're going to be tackling off a variety of things coming down, but it's tricky, man. A development, uh, a development marketing, I don't know, man, you're probably looking at well over half a mil. To half a mil. A mil. Yeah. And what does that time look like? Uh, time frames for that, getting it done. No, that you've spent on it from inception to wow. today. It's been inception. Great question, man. It, it, it's been about probably about a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. Uh, two years. Two years. Uh, about two years were from when from, the thought and idea was starting to be discussed exactly, until today. Exactly. <clears throat> you had a thousand subscribers. You're half a million dollars in. Is that hard cost or is that incorporating like your time or is that just actual money out? I would probably say it's a combination of time and then okay. and then uh, time and probably a little money out. Right. And when it comes down to our actual launch date, like launch date meaning um, we officially went live on November the uh, 22nd, no, November of 2022. Okay. So that was the date when um, anyone can kind of get out there and literally go and say, uh, boom, uh, go and download it. So we've been active for, let's say, about six months. Very cool. Yeah. What, yeah. What's, what, what's your, what are your goals with it for revenue, for amount of subscribers? Where are you taking it to? What's going on? What I would say is uh, it'd be amazing to get to 100,000 subscribers. 
So that's Good. the number um, in the back of my brain. So you need 99 more. <laughs> 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 Only about 99 yeah, it's more. 99 more. That's yeah, it. you know, and <clears throat> it's, and it's and and it's very interesting business because it wasn't birthed. It wasn't birthed off of actually turning it into a business. Yeah, and that's actually the the interesting part about this is this has been a a, a very interesting pivot in my life because I'm a full blown like top 1% like real estate agent, right? So right, right, right. I'm literally like knee deep in, uh, I'm in real estate. And this journey was really built because I needed a product for mm. myself and my team. Okay. <laughs> right? right. It's, Interesting. It's, yeah. yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't <clears throat> something where it was like, um, oh, you're going to have this. And then when I did it, uh, um, the other, <clears throat> other origin story is other people were saying, hey, like, uh, can I use it as well? And I talked to the guy that helped me out build the tech part. I'm like, you know, like we add people onto this? Yeah, sure, why not? And I really realized that tech is just... Yeah. <laughs> like tech, you can just change the a few buttons and now you can have it, you know? And then it's like, uh, can Americans use it? Yeah, I'll, I'll just open up a little dot and I'll click a button. I'm just like... So I can have like a global company. I'm like, okay, hold on, hold the horses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking this, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it, it birthed in its birth. So when you ask questions like, you know, the marketing department, even, even, even like what you're doing here, with what you guys are doing, I think it's amazing. We spoke about just about like how you're building this business and framework out. Absolutely amazing. But that was yeah. actually never even the vision I had in my brain. But as mm -hmm. I grow now and grow now, I'm realizing that's where I'm going to be taking it to, right? Um, yeah. Look at the marketing department and branding and the, 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 all, the, all that kind of fun stuff. So it's going to be an interesting journey yeah. as, I, as I move along here. And, yeah. and to go to your point, like it's been something that I thought in my head that at a certain point in time, I'm going to latch on to either a developer or an existing piece of tech and take it for the ride with us because our digital footprint is growing and we're right. becoming really powerful and that this division is kicking some serious butt. Mm. So as like a brand partner or an influencer, like imagine if you were to sign this tech up with Ryan Sirhan you'd get your 100,000 downloads like that kind yeah, of vibe, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. what does that look like, cost per acquisition compar in comparison to running sponsored ads and putting all videos and assets, right? right? Like that goes down to the whole brand partner, ambassador endorsement deal, right? So okay. it's getting to a point where it's like our, 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 our base and our platform and the way our engines are roaring, anything we plug into it, shoo, it'll go right? right so it gets it's 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 all not i don't want to say we're at that point right. but it's getting close to where i might be warming up to some conversations in regards to things that help streamline our business yeah, yeah. so talk about vertical integration yeah and talk about things where it's like oh yeah i need this product because it would help my company but let me get behind it too on on pushing it out and and on the business end right 100%. so yeah that's maybe next steps for for what you guys got going on as well with someone in your space that yeah. is is in need of of, of the tech to the extent that you are sees value in it and yeah. wants to get behind it 100 right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and those and those uh, partnerships and and connections, it's even I'm learning as I go along. It's super important. And, oh yeah, and for sure. and even I heard a conversation with you outside earlier, where just about like you know as you give and you support and things come back, and it's amazing. And it's one of the things in my career. And when I tell you, there's been a massive shift in my brain of growth uh, just in the last like month over month. Yeah, even from a standpoint of how do you get to you know, shy of over a thousand just in a short time period. And uh, by having a, a, like an amazing product and then great relationships with even people in the city that as you know and I know and people supporting you then and really connecting with your agent and seeing that sprawl out, yeah. it's amazing seeing it. And I think that uh, even, even for myself being, uh, I didn't have that when I started my career. I just had like kind of, I just left, uh, that's my entire not crew, but I, I just left Scarborough. I was like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way for a bit, right?" And Where did you go? huh? Where did you go? Durham. I went to Durham because it's interesting, right? And this is the next piece where I made this product for us because I've talked. I've, I've now spoken to a, a bit over a thousand agents as well in, in in Canada at least over the past couple months on stages, just talking to agents, and I found that. Number one, ninety percent of the income is made by ten percent of the realtors. Right, and I found that when I look at the top ten percent, I see the same stuff. Yeah. For example, five percent of them 
actually have a good sphere of influence. Right. They can actually go to their aunts and their uncles and they can get business there. My friend, um, my friend Ali, I just went to his wedding uh, kind of engagement party. Doctors, lawyers, business owners. It's, I'm just like, there's a lot of people here and this and they and they're doing stuff. So so he could start I believe he wanted to jump into something, go to his family events and his gatherings and get some good business there and pump out maybe eight, 10 deals from that. So 5% of people can work their sphere. The other 4%, I say, have a gift of the gap. I think you have it, right? Meaning like you're just in personality, you're out there, people gravitate towards you, have that spirit, that energy, perfect. Drop right. you anywhere in God's green earth will triple your worth. Right, a type of vibe. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 it's just yeah, like yeah. that type of like boom. I haven't and, heard that before. That's cool. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, put you anywhere, okay, okay. and you're gonna survive. You're gonna, right, I mean, right. like, you're gonna figure it out. Yeah, right? it makes sense. And that's a a gift, and not, and it's very hard. Not everyone has that, right? Because that kind right. of personality. And then you have the other one percent where you just have to grind it out. Yeah, that so you just gotta get out there, and it's gonna be hard for you. You gotta go and just um grind it out. So um. Uh, uh, that's where Harvest kicks it as well, right? It's for that kind of that 90% of the agents that aren't making it, um, 85% of them are quitting or leaving after year two. Yeah. Right? So the very, the high, high failure rate industry, a lot of them don't realize and understand that you are in that 1%. And the only way that you're going to make it is if you um, pound the pavement. So uh, back to the earlier point of what I was making is that I didn't build my business off of trying to build relationships with all these different people that I knew. I had to go out to like the Durham region hmm. and just talk to people I didn't know. Like, hey, do you want to sell? No. Okay, later. Do you want to sell? No. And just put you ask those questions. But then you realize that uh, when you kind of build a community and you build relationships and you talk to people and you circle back and you make the right connections, um, then you just kind of expand 10,000 times quicker. And I think I'm seeing that a lot with Harvest right now, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. that ripple effect. Yeah, yeah, that, that effect. compounding growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you yeah. can't stop people. Uh, you can't stop, you know, um, uh, people just talking to you with their group of realtor friends and you get 10 downloads randomly in a day in Atlanta or something. Mm -hmm. Another 15 in Chicago. Like, yeah, cool. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> now, you know, you know what I find really, really cool about it all is you've taken such an old school method, right, of marketing, right, right, and you've brought it into the tech world, right, right. which is like cutting edge. So right. it's a cutting edge marketing meets oldest school form of of selling real estate, which uh, which a lot of top performing realtors that are in the one percent swear by door knocking. And it's funny. A last right? thing as well. That's been the most eye opener. If you now that these door knockers from the old school have harvest, yeah, and and they and they hear they're like like this is possible. Yeah, I can actually remember even in, it, 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 even in any community, right? It's like right. you know, how do you remember which door you actually knocked on and spoke to if it's on your notepad all over the place? Right. So, so they see it. They now you can track everything on your phone. Nice. You know, there's a dot over each house, blue for a yes, green for whatever, and you can just literally see where you were in an yeah. entire community and even the top agents they're just like this is like, wh like why didn't i have this before yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so i love it because everyone kind of sees it like that yeah it's amazing that's cool man yeah man yeah that's very cool i like that door -to -door sales. is there any other features one other thing it does is uh, there's also a contact book meaning if you were to go to a realtor today or, or a realtor today and you would say you know uh, show me your leads right uh, i go to a party you go to a networking event you know, uh, they're putting it into their phone. I just met you. You want to buy a house here? Let me put it into my phone, right? And you're mixing a like a like a thirty k check with your aunt and your uncle Grimpy, whatever, <laughs> right? So the idea is, it also which is pretty cool uh, when you add these leads. It also serves as a a book of business because uh, now you have a bunch of people who have said they wanted to sell yeah. their home, literally on your phone. Uh, so right now, I can literally, I, took, I have my contact book and my cell phone, but I also have a book of business in my Harvest app that literally I can see like a bunch of people that said they were thinking about selling. And as a team leader, I have five agents like on my team back to out there knocking right now. Yeah. And, and literally every time they get a lead in, I can see that in my book of business. So that's also a, a cool thing where you're separating your personal life 
from your business life mm, mm. and separating a 30k check from your aunt and uncles yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cool i like that i like that and, and then what happens That's is awesome. you meet a person and it's like why don't you call me all so you're in walmart one day and it's like why don't you you never follow up with me i know where's your number again <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, you yeah. know you just 30k out the window yeah, yeah. No, no and you know what like it's cool that you like you're gonna contact them and hit them up whether it's text whether it's email whether it's phone call but you did a belly to belly with them where usually people are like they grab your number or email from so, some online source so you didn't have a personal interaction mm. so you have that contact but you right. did a belly to belly with them which is different from having that contact same contact same information right but you didn't have that even if it was a 30 second combo you know and hey you know it's a little cold i'm watching the kids yeah. i can't talk right now but bro i do want to sell my house and thank you for coming and all this is amazing material and that hits different and you know than, crazy than an email you know you mean? just I said something interesting and I, I didn't even go there and i should have went there because you just nailed like the backbone of harvest which is harvest organic Right. So we don't believe, like, so, so online leads, they do work. Yeah. I made that crystal clear. I, I still do them today. I've done them in the past. I do them now. I made a lot of money off of online leads. They work. Um, uh, however, Harvest is about the belly to belly, the organic contact right. to contact. So that's why it's right. like, it's everything that matters from I'm in front of your face and now I'm going to get information from you. Yeah. And then tracking that data. So that we can now make informed decisions on how success, like where you're going to go in your business. So right. someone should be able to know, okay, if I want to go to networking events, fine. Then what are you, what's the, what's your data behind networking events? When you go, how much people are you meeting on average? How much people do you need to meet to convert, to do this, to do this? So you should be able to wake up and say, all right, if I want to make a hundred grand this year, and my average, I know your numbers, and my average a listing or sales revenue is say 18,000, well, how much people do I need to bump into in order to get that? Mm. Make sense? And, yeah. that, and, and and that's where we're going, and, and that's where coaching comes in. And and people like you yourself, you have training, and you're helping people because not many people understand that they need, many people need coaching severely yeah. because they're not looking at their numbers the right way. Right. And they don't realize that you may have a great conversion on getting a lead, but you're missing book, uh, your appointment conversions are down and maybe you're booking appointments, but your appointments to an actual closed deal is down and mm. that's where you need help there. So there's so much data and stuff that people are missing along the way, but we believe in that body to body and we're tracking all of that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So important. So important. But thank you so much for coming in and spending uh, your time with us today. A very, very interesting conversation. I love where you're going with it. I think you're going to absolutely crush it. Thank you. I think it's it's a void that needs to get filled now, especially after hearing you know how how valuable it is and, yeah. and how many people still do like i said the door knocking and and there's no tracking system or accountability or data to really show them you know how well it's doing for right. them and how much better they can be doing and hold right. them accountable so brilliant love it and uh, keep up the good work and i wish you all the luck and success with it my man thank you brother 100%. yeah sure <laughs> tell uh tell tell the audience where they could find you where they could find your technology where they could find your any 100%. information you want them to know about you, right? Yeah. 100%. So uh, keeping it super simple, harvest.com, uh, www.harvast.com, harvest.com. Also on social media, on Instagram, you can also find us at, at Go Harvest, uh, well, at Go Harvest on Instagram. Nice. And you can also follow me at Top Dollar Toppin as well. This is my side name there. Last yeah. name is actually Toppin, so... I just said top dollar topping. So at top dollar topping is myself, but also follow Go Harvest on Instagram and our website, www.harvest.com. Thank you for tuning in to uh, <laughs> What Would It Cost today? And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like. That's what keeps this movement rolling. So appreciate you.